Hi everyone! Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Bracket Live. We are delighted to have you. I'm your host Jessica Davis and I have a very special guest with me, Jess Lucero. Yes, it is two Jesses. That's right. I love that they're able Music to is like, high. fill you in I know. on what's how it sounds like as very it's very helpful to me. Uh-huh. All right, let me turn the music down a wee bit. If you've never been on this show before, this is Bracket Live, and Bracket is a gaming app that you can download for free on Android and iPhone. It is an app where you play uh, games of Bracket together. What we do here on Bracket Live is we flip a coin, we're gonna flip a coin today to choose uh, a topic and then we are going to fill it out together in chat. So it's a live interactive version of Bracket. We get to fill it out as a community. Since I'm technically a 90s baby and 90s trends are coming back, we're going with 90s trends. So yes. let's see what happens. So give us let's some examples. Just so, just so chat is like getting in the right mindset. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, so we can do like scrunchies. Also, correct me if I'm wrong because, like I said, I might list some things that are like early 2000s. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? So we have <laughs> scrunchies. Were Tamagotchis a 90s trend? Yeah, I think so. Chokers those were, were awesome. those a 90s trend? Chokers. Mm-hmm. Or was that 2000? <laughs> no, I think Chokers was 90s. Okay, so Jess, you get one slot on the bracket. So, what is your one choice? Oh, mine is scrunchies. I got to scrunchies. Okay. I use those all the time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to fill out this Elite Eight bracket, and then we will go through each category and um, put a poll in chat, and we're going to vote together, and we'll, we'll fill it out that way. When I was in, like, middle school, it was, like, the warhead thing where you would try to see how many warheads you could hold in your mouth at one time. That was, like, a thing that people did. (laughs) Oh, my God, that sounds terrible. Yeah. And if you did the fizzy ones, you would just start foaming (laughs) and crying. (laughs) Your teacher's just like, is she okay? (laughs) Beanie Babies, to me, always felt like I didn't understand why they were such a big deal. That's what I'll say. I I just didn't understand. The Carlton lives on forever, so. I know. I know, this one's hard for me because um, I was hardcore into Beanie Babies. I was. (gasps) You were a collector? I was a collector. In fact, I do believe there is still a box somewhere in my mom's attic, and now those things are worth a lot of money. If you have the right one. Which one was your favorite? Do you remember? I really liked, there was a um, lobster one. I can't remember what his name was, but I really liked the lobster. (laughs) Oh my gosh. And he was big too. He was like, you know, it was not a little one. It was a big one. I liked the big ones. (laughs) I don't like them now though. You definitely Wait, am I allowed to vote? Or am I not supposed to vote? Okay, good, because I voted. (laughs) (laughs) I have a very distinct memory on my Heelys. My family and I went to like a Shogun type of, is that even a thing? What, like a hibachi grill. Uh And so I had just got my Heelys and I was learning how to use them. And I felt flat on my butt right after. It was like my very first time trying them. Everyone was there. My family was all here. (laughs) So embarrassing. I feel like that was probably everyone's like first experience with them though. Like the first time they got on, probably 90% of people fell flat on their butts with that. I strongly dislike Furbies. (laughs) Yeah, Furbies are creepy. That's it. Creepy. Furbies strongly dislike you, Robbie. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why I never got one because I didn't want it to uh, get possessed and kill me in my sleep. Their eyelids always moving. Oh, I hated it. And they would learn language and all. Yeah. We had a, a, a friend who had a Furby that went through the dryer. Oh. <laughs> and in the cycle, you could hear him just, ah, blah, blah, blah. Like, like. <laughs> that is so funny. And then he just, I think he got stuck on like, eh, like by the end of it, like they definitely murdered the Furby in the dryer. (laughs) 
it's a bad way to go. Even for, for Herbie. Herbie. <laughs> yeah. Robbie's so right. He said the bracket says best, but the poll said worse. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um do we have to do I a don't re? Know what to do. do. We have to do a re. You're right, you're right, you're right. Do we Do we confuse everyone? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I racked it. Oh, it's going back and forth. I know. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to watch. It's crazy watching it. Uh huh. I think, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is going to cause some controversy because they'll be like, "No, it was supposed to be butterfly." Right. <laughs> okay, wheelie shoes. <laughs> oh. Turn of events. Turn. Wheelie shoes. Okay. I mean, fair and square, I guess. So we have a final matchup. The championship round is the Carlton versus Wheelie Shoes. Jess Lucero, did you wear baggy leather pants like from a big video? <laughs> I did not have any back in the day. <laughs> but now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't cool enough to do that <laughs> at that time. <laughs> These ones are funny because <laughs> you can look stupid doing both, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how I would choose between these two. I know. I think people are going to be very opinionated on this one. Yes. Like, especially Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by people. Oh, and Bobby. Nene. <laughs> yeah. Um, wheelie shoes all the way. If you vote differently, you are wrong. <laughs> I just have a lot of hot takes that Bobby completely hates. <laughs> <laughs> we thrive on controversy around here. <laughs> and debates. The Carlton dance is too iconic. It is iconic. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the Carlton! <laughs> it won! The Carlton won the championship round and is the ultimate so best 90s trend. Did you see the Carlton winning this entire thing? I didn't expect that. No, I did not. Not at all. This was a really good one, you guys. And I think this we one learned a lot fun. that we can have so many more 90s themed brackets on this show. And I can't we wait can to have see such a big bracket. Some brackets by bracket. I think they could do a 16 or 32, to be honest. A best and worst. Yes. The worst is going to be so funny. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite brackets are worst. I try really hard not to do always worsts on this show, but I would say like 70% of the brackets we do on this show are worst just because they're so much more fun. <laughs> you yeah. know? So. Bring on the rage. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that was awful. Great bracket, Jess. Thank you so much for that uh, awesome topic and for joining us today. Thank you. I had so much fun. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, well, well, we'll see more of Jess very soon on the Bracket app and elsewhere. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to say goodbye to Jess and go on to our next bracket. Jess, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us where uh, we can um, follow you elsewhere on the World. You can follow me at Overtime Jess, and then my TikTok is Jess the Reporter, and I talk about all things that don't matter but everyone cares about. So, <laughs> all pop culture type of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun on there. So, amazing. Awesome. All right. Well, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.